Presented by Listen Headlines. Latest financial news from trusted sources. February 19, 533 America New York, gas station ATMs are a banking battleground. Banks worried about risk are turning away the owners of independent ATMs, a lifeline to the underbanked. February 19, 5 o'clock America New York, pandemic's economic impact is easing, but aftershocks may linger. States are lifting mask mandates, and demand is bouncing back quickly after Omicron. Supply constraints are proving harder to escape. Shoppers in New York. Job growth and retail spending have been strong recently, but Americans report feeling gloomier about the economy now than early in the crisis. February 19. 410 America New York, Woolen Mills, plans to save, iconic, Welsh blanket. One mill is becoming an employee ownership trust and another is hoping to be taken on by a museum. February 19, 324 America New York, the COVID pandemic, circa February 2022. It is widely believed that speaking helps to spread COVID, including in public places. Yet if you try to book a ticket on the Acela, a term also used sarcastically to describe a particular brand of Eastern elites, you can get tickets only in the quiet car. The rest of the train is already sold out, because people prefer to be able to talk. February 19, 303 America New York, more than 17,000 chain store shop closed last year. Figures reflect the rise of online shopping and the pandemic, but the rate of closures is slowing. February 19, 102 America New York, COVID markets in everything, foreign intelligence edition. A government-approved COVID testing firm is being investigated by the UK's data privacy watchdog after it emerged that it plans to sell customers' DNA to third parties. February 19, 002 America New York, woke activists infiltrating government positions. Morals and values have been discarded in Biden's America. Biden's latest hire Sam Brinton will join the Department of Energy's, DOE, nuclear power office as the second-in-command of nuclear waste issues. February 19, 001 America New York, Freedom Convoy Organizers Arrested. The Canadian government has hunted down the organizers of the 2022 Freedom Convoy and placed them in custody. The Ottawa police issued the following warning. Demonstrators, you must leave. February 19, 100 America New York, the juncture, looms for investors. The likely cost of suppressing inflation is a reduction in Fed balance sheet accompanied by recession. February 19, 100 America New York, wary of being left in the dark, Americans produce their own power. The market for backup generators, solar panels and microgrids is booming as homeowners and businesses grapple with a less reliable electric grid. February 18, 2300 America New York, Bitcoin, BTC, and Ethereum, ETH, sinking into support. The background of higher global rates and growing geopolitical tensions has forced Bitcoin down into an important zone of support. February 18, 2216 America New York, SEC counters Elon Musk's accusation of harassment. The regulator filed a letter with the court saying its engagement with Tesla and its CEO is in line with a 2018 settlement. February 18, 2216 America New York, SEC counters Elon Musk's accusation of harassment. The regulator filed a letter with the court saying its engagement with Tesla and its CEO is in line with a 2018 settlement. February 18, 2145 America New York, Ukraine and the Separatist Movement. The American press tends to suggest that it is all about Putin and his troops on the border. There is also a separatist movement in Ukraine where the ethnic Russian East wants independence from Ukraine. February 18, 2129 America New York, Canada police prove they are like Nazis, just following orders. The Canadian police have shown the entire world that they are no different from the Nazis of Germany whose excuse was the same, just following orders. It is a shame that they are defending Trudeau against all odds and world opinion. February 18, 1900 America New York, are financial crossbreeds monstrosities or labradoodles? Crypto Spock fusions shed light on the question. February 18, 1900 America New York, Australian dollar outlook, external factors dominate AUD, USD, will it break free?
the Australian dollar faces a choppy outlook with global concerns growing over a conflict in the Ukraine. Where to for AUD, USD? February 18. 1900 America New York, a new history of sanctions has unsettling lessons for today. Sometimes they create the problem they are trying to solve. February 18. 1900 America New York, Citigroup is disposing of its international retail network. The sale marks the end of a remarkable experiment in global finance. February 18. 1900 America New York, will prediction markets live up to the hype? Their mainstream appeal remains uncertain. February 18, 1823 America New York, Janet Bufton on the Canadian truckers' protest. Yesterday, a libertarian friend in Ottawa, Janet Bufton, posted an article on the truckers' protest. It's titled, Canada's Freedom Convoy is Undermining the Cause of Freedom. February 18, 1739 America New York, multinationals in Ukraine are ready for a conflict but staying put. Despite warnings by Western leaders of an imminent Russian attack, U.S. and European companies say they see a low risk of an invasion. Western allies have ceded Ukraine and businesses operating there with over $48 billion in bilateral and multilateral economic support as Russia escalates threats. February 18, 1730 America New York, CNN's Golist discussed interview topics with Governor Cuomo, probe found. An internal investigation found that a top executive, Alison Golist, had extensive communications with then-Governor Andrew Cuomo, former Governor Andrew M. Cuomo. An internal CNN investigation found extensive communications between Mr. February 18, 1717 America New York, Sacklers raised their offer to settle opioid lawsuits by more than $1 billion. But they continue to insist on protection from civil liability claims over opioids, an unusual and controversial measure that derailed a previous deal. The headquarters of Purdue Pharma in Stamford, Connecticut. February 18, 1717 America New York, Sacklers raised their offer to settle opioid lawsuits by more than $1 billion. But they continue to insist on protection from civil liability claims over opioids, an unusual and controversial measure that derailed a previous deal. The headquarters of Purdue Pharma in Stamford, Connecticut.